In the Valley of the Sun, Mexican food may be on every corner, but this Central Phoenix restaurant has something most of their competitors don't. Southern Mexican cuisine. Is that like, uh, es muy bueno, yo? Our food is modern Mexican food. Um, so it's mostly indigenous to places like Yucatan, Oaxaca, and Pueblo. Uh, so it's very different from most of the Mexican places you see out here. Rice and beans don't come with anything. Uh, you don't get chips and salsa. It's not just the food that's unique. Wait till you see the eclectic atmosphere. What we do is we show local artists. The work stays up for about two months. Uh, right now we have um, Todd Bailey's, the painter in the far room. We have Jack Kurtz, he's actually a photographer for the Republic, who's in this room right now. What owner Wendy Gruber's most proud of is a perfect score on their last health inspection. Makes me really proud. You know, it's a nice pat on the shoulder. I've never owned a restaurant before. Neither is Silvana, and so far everything we've done has been just going perfectly. And it shows they're always making sure things are done right the first time. We don't have any big cleanup days. You know, we don't have any big time, okay, we, they're coming, we need to clean this, or this is getting disgusting. It's, they do it every single day. One visit to the Barrio Cafe, and Wendy says you'll understand the best things do come in small packages. We have a really small place and an even smaller kitchen. And it's because of that, it's incredibly important to be organized. Organized, also clean. It's just impossible if not. Serving authentic Mexican food, Barrio Cafe is considered a Phoenix staple. But a decision to close on the day without immigrants. Have the phones fired up. You are a piece of At least a dozen phone calls so far. You guys are going to feel the burn. Should never go against Trump publicly. If they call, Sometimes I hang up and they call back. How can these illegals register to be legal? That's what you should be doing. It's just hating for hating, like like barking, and, and that is terrible. One in particular stands out. You and your company. I hope you people die. I just want to serve that food a big old plate of cochinita bibil and say, come on, man, have at it. Love, love through food, right? Owner chef Silvana Salcido Esparza says the more the public knows threats like this are happening, she hopes the more they realize it's wrong. And I'm sorry that people were threatened by my closing my Mexican restaurant on a day without immigrants. You're f***ed up. We're going to boycott your restaurants. You will go broke and you go back to Mexico. The chef calls standing up unnecessary ingredient for change. This is the time for unity, not for division. Cooking is a passion for Chef Silvana Salcido Sparza, and she's now become one of the best known restaurant owners in Arizona. I get a lot of people that tell me this is the best food that they've ever had. The flavors are there, people just go crazy over it. Chef Silvana now owns four restaurants in the Valley, but Barrio Cafe is her baby and it's where it all started. I did the tile, that's why I refused to get rid of it. Uh, I painted the walls, uh, this place was a mess. She put a lot of her heart and soul into her menu and the restaurant. And she does it all from greeting customers to cleaning dishes. I put everything on the line. When I opened, I had $700 left in the bank and I was going to have to cover some payroll. Uh, so by the grace of God and you know, the magic of five stars from the Arizona Republic, we're still in business. And business has been good ever since, winning awards year after year. Shel Savannah says it's her great staff that puts Barrio Cafe on top. They're not staff, they're family. That's what, that's part of the magic. People walk in and they can feel the magic. But the f magic is not just the food or, or the, the art, it's a combination, it's the people that are here. Well, with the success of Barrio Cafe, what Silvana's most proud of is watching her neighborhood around her restaurant become more and more vibrant. If you believe in your vision and you believe that it's true and it's gonna actually uh, not just satisfy you of having a vision, but actually making money and something that's sustainable and it creates a community and it creates employment for other people, most importantly, then go for it because it's worth it. Paul Horton for Arizona's Family. There's no doubt Silvana Salcido Esparza has left her imprint on Central Phoenix, described by many as more than just a chef. She's like an angel in disguise. A woman who pours her heart into her food and the people she serves. She doesn't judge people. She does a lot for the homeless community. When the pandemic first started, she closed her restaurants down and fed the homeless. Just chatting with the owner of Barrio Cafe, you'd have no idea the battle she's up against. I can tell you that I've lost 100 pounds in the last 10 years. 
It wasn't a diet. I love to eat. Esparza has sarcoidosis, an incurable inflammatory disease. It affects the whole body. It affects your skin. It affects your eyes. It causes blindness. Uh, I have it in my nose. I have it in cardiac. Esparza says she was in remission until the pandemic hit. Because of the stress of closing out a restaurant, pandemic and all that, and eventually now it's back. For those who love and admire Esparza, the news isn't easy to hear. Shock and sadness, you know, because good people who do good things for the community should get, you know, good things coming to them and it's, it's tragic. In the midst of her illness, Esparza says she gave up her health insurance to save money. Can I afford insurance? No, I have to save my business. But Esparza isn't letting her illness set her back. Instead, she says it empowers her. It's my battle, and look at me, I look pretty good. I'm, I'm hiking 10 miles all the time. I go up South Mountain. That's my, my refuge, you know. It's where my brain, my spirit kind of regenerates. In Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's family. I've dedicated my entire adult career to the study of my culture through food. Chef Silvana Salcido Esparza is a proud Mexicana. She opened up Barrio Cafe in 2002. She's seen the food scene in the valley evolve firsthand. If I take you out right now to eat here in Phoenix, and we go, let's say, 20 years ago, we would be eating crispy tacos, some yellow cheese, some sour cream, some fried chimichangas, perhaps. Today, it is not bad. One of her favorite hidden gems is in Phoenix in a seemingly innocuous building right off of McDowell called El Ranchero. They specialize in Sinaloan cuisine. What do we order here? Because I feel like this menu is there. So this is overwhelmingly beautiful, isn't it? It's pura cultura. You know, even burritos de camarón, when do you see that? We ordered manta ray soup with all the fixings. Cabbage, onion, cilantro, and salsa, along with a shredded beef gordita topped with lettuce, tomato, and fresh crumbled cheese. This is a sope in many of the northern Mexican cultures. In Durango, in Chihuahua, Nuevo Leon, Tamaulipas, that's a sope. Or when you travel in uh, Sinaloa, this becomes a gordita. But depending on the state or region, the cuisine can be very different. Vamonos a lo que sigue. Our next stop is both a market and a restaurant located in a strip mall off of Bethany Home. See where it says Oaxaca Restaurant Mexican Food. Here you'll find food and spices unique to Oaxaca. That's in southwestern Mexico. We ordered a tlayuda. It's a large, thin, and crunchy tortilla covered with refined beans, cabbage, avocado, meat, Oaxaca cheese, and salsa. There's that quesillo. Gracias. Thank you. Look at that, the cheese. I just shreds. We also ordered chapulines, pan-fried crickets, a Mexican delicacy. We're gonna take a tortilla like this. We take these chapulincitos that are totally pan-fried. Add some salsa de jalapeño and some cita de tomate asado. There we go. Saludita. By sharing the history of Mexican food, Chef Silvana hopes to show you can find authentic cuisine in nearly every part of the valley. We're everywhere. Yeah. So there's no excuse for eating that mediocre Mexican food. Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.